Inside the firing range for the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms. This just came in within the last two days. Officer Wayne Garrett. Monday morning, this is about average what we might get in. Goes over the hall of guns. 20 to 30 guns. Taken off the streets of D.C. No serial numbers, no manufacturer marks. In this cache of firearms. Glock, Ruger. Springfield Armor. Most people wouldn't notice them. See how similar they are, correct? He's talking about ghost guns. See how close they are? They both have it. Yep. This has no serial number. I have no idea who made it. It's completely untraceable. Privately manufactured firearms with no serial number and no registration. We've seen an explosion of these firearms being recovered here in D.C. To ATF Assistant Special Agent in Charge Chris Ammon, the draw for criminals is obvious. You can order a ghost gun kit online, or you can make one with a 3D printer. You don't have to be overly handy. With some basic tools, you know, you can assemble one of these firearms within 30 to 45 minutes. And the numbers are growing. Take D.C., for example. According to the ATF, in 2019, they recovered 116 ghost guns, but last year, that number jumped up to 439. And of that number, Agent Ammon estimates 25% were linked to shootings in the DC metro area. What we've seen through our investigations is there are individuals who are manufacturing multiple privately made firearms and then distributing them to the criminal element here. In an attempt to curb this rising tide of untraceable weapons, the Biden administration has stepped in with a federal rule change. The United States Department of Justice is making it illegal for a business to manufacture one of these kits without a serial number. Illegal. By August, the kits used to build ghost guns that are most often recovered on D.C. streets will now be serialized by the manufacturer and will require a background check upon purchase. Our attorneys are preparing a lawsuit um, to strike down this rule. Aiden Johnston is the director of federal affairs for the Gun Owners of America. This rule has nothing to do with crime. It has everything to do with, you know, expanding the ATF's illegal gun registry. Engine 10 responding for a shooting. Johnston points out that in the last six years, police have found ghost guns used in at least 692 homicides. That's numbers that the ATF corroborates. That's about 115 a year, which is far less than the 400 people a year who are beat to death with hands and feet, or the 600 people a year who um, get beat to death with a blunt object or like hammers. ATF has done this by fiat and without Congress. Congress hasn't passed a new law saying we need to regulate these things. For the ATF, getting serial numbers on ghost guns is a key component to solving crime. Without a serial number to go back and try to find the original purchaser, you're kind of, uh, you know, again, behind the eight ball. The American Dilemma, gun rights versus gun violence. Matt Gregory, WUSA 9. The ghost gun rise is not just limited to the district. Law enforcement tells us Prince George's and Montgomery counties have also seen a substantial rise in the number of ghost gun recoveries over the last five years. We have more on their numbers on our WUSA 9 mobile app and our website.